Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Wake. Um, has there been any news about my husband? You said milk, right? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Felicia. I made some more if you want it. Okay, we'll be fine. Um, in that case, do you mind if I take a late lunch? I'm meeting Terry. No, no, that's fine. You, you know where we are. I've got some work to do with Mrs. Woods. Okay, thank you. I think it's hopeless, don't you? No, I don't. I wouldn't have asked you to stay. I have something to show you. I want you to take a good look at it, see if you recognize it. It's a man's watch. Yes. But there may be something special about it. Well, it's like the one I gave to Marty. So there's an inscription on the back. To Marty on our tenth. Oh, my God. It's Marty's. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I had the, the jeweler inscribe this on the back for our anniversary. This is Marty's watch. The one I gave him, where did you find it? Um, it was found on the waterfront. They, they took it out of the river. My Marty! This is Ma Marty. Oh my God! Something's happened to him. No, no, we don't something know terrible. that. No, we don't know that. Oh no! Marty's dead. He's dead. No. Please, look. This is just where they found the watch. He's dead. The mean... river. Please. Yes, it do... it's just where they found the watch. Dead. It doesn't mean that he's dead. Mrs. Woods, please, you must calm down. There could be a number of reasons why the watch was found there. It could have been stolen. It could have been dropped on the docks. Oh, do you think so? Absolutely, I think so. Oh. Now, you must remain calm, and we must look upon this as a step in the right direction to finding your husband, okay? Oh, please, please, it has to be. Please. This is extremely difficult for you, but I want you to remain calm, okay? Okay. And I want you to hold on to your strength and to have some hope. Okay? I will, I will. All right. What, what is it that you want me to do? Okay, darling. Just one second. I want you to give me all the answers you can about your husband, all right? Mm -hmm. Anything, everything you can tell me about him. A friend, a, a phone number, a name, who he works with. I, I don't know. Well, you, you must know who he works with. Boy, he worked in a lot of different places. What, name them? I don't know. I mean, he had a lot of different jobs. He traveled a lot. Well, where did he travel to? What did he sell? He sold restaurant supplies. Yeah. And that's all I know. He didn't like me to ask questions about his business. Weren't she curious? Yes, of course, but I, I just didn't want him to get upset. <sighs> Besides, when we were alone, he would just say, well, I don't want to bring business into bed. You know what I mean? Yes. Friends. Uh... A best friend. He always said that I'm his best friend. <laughs> well, drinking partners, school chums. Uh... He said he had enough of them on the road. How about your neighbors? Well, we only saw him every once in a while. He, he didn't like other people to know our business. He just, I guess, he's a loner. Apparently so, yes. I still think we should talk to your neighbors, though, about this. I already you... did. Nobody's seen him. Um, well, I have a blank page, Mrs. Woods. I, I... You're afraid, aren't you? No. You just said not to jump to conclusions, and then you did. You're afraid that I'm never going to see him again, aren't you? <laughs> with you in a minute. Oh, it's okay. Take your time. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just taking a break. 23 down. New. New? What's that? Uh, bearded African antelope. 23 down. Three letters. G-N-U. New. You are a genius. No, I already did today's puzzle. Matter of fact, I already did yesterday's puzzle. I bought a whole book full of them. I don't know why I do these things. They drive me crazy. Well, right now they're keeping me sane. Is there something I can get for you? Uh, no, thank you. I was just wandering around, kind of found myself here again. I feel kind of like a homing pigeon. Well, I have no idea where home is anymore. Okay, well, let me get you a cup of coffee. Anyway, here we go. You know, honey, 
things really will settle down. I don't know, Ruby. I just don't know about any of it anymore. Brooding! Too much time in your hands. I agree. How's the job hunt coming? How do you know what to find when you don't even know what you're looking for? Uh, not when your heart's not in it. Have you heard from Simone? No, not yet. I, I miss her. I miss the hospital. I miss work. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. Oh, <laughs> then you really do need to get a job. That's what my father tells me. What would you like to do? Well, you know, I've been talking to Colton about that. I think I'd like a change of pace, you know, kind of get my head out of things and get my hands into it. Maybe some good hard work. That never hurt anybody. But in the meantime, I've got a better idea. Did you smell those pies? I could smell them all the way from the outside. Well, what if I get you a nice warm piece to go with your coffee? Well, why is everybody always trying to feed me? Because you could use some meat on those bums. Well, Anna's invited me over for dinner tonight. That's probably why. <laughs> good. Look, I've got to check in the pies. Any special occasion? Uh, she says it's for uh, a thank you for treating Robin. I suspect she's feeling sorry for me. Along with every stray cat and dog in the city. And suspended doctor. Now, are you sure you wouldn't like a piece? I have a little advice instead. That's a little harder, but I'll try. I have a friend. Yes? By accident, I found out that he couldn't be involved in something that's very serious. How serious? Well, it could involve breaking the law. I see. Uh, does your friend know that you knew that? Yes. He's asked me to keep it quiet. Do you have a problem with that? A big one. I'm not so sure his wife knows about it. Not only could he get himself in trouble, but if his wife finds out about it, it could wreck their marriage. His wife is a friend of yours, too? Yes. I don't want to let him down. At the same time, I don't want to withhold from her. Especially when I know it could have such far-reaching consequences for their whole family. What would you do? Well, there's an old saying, when in doubt, leave it out. Say nothing, not even to the wife. Do you think maybe the wife knows? Not really. She could know, I suppose. My guess would be she does. photograph of your husband, a recent photograph, please. And also, if possible, I would like you to go through his things, check to see if there's any particular bill, a record, an invoice, or... You, you better write this down, because I think you'll forget. Um, what good will this do? It just might turn up something, you know. Uh, it's impossible for somebody to exist nowadays without leaving a trace of themselves. Credit cards, what about his credit cards? He always used to pay as he went. I'll still check the credit card companies. <clears throat> Something may turn up. I need to know his favorite haunts, like the bars he went to, the restaurants, the clubs. That way, once we've got all that information, I can go around and check and see whether somebody remembers seeing him. You really do think there's hope, don't you? Well, there has to be hope. But we can only work on with what we have, do you see? I don't know how to thank you. Well... Don't you worry about anything and Thank just you. go home and see if you can get those things for me. Um, do you mind if I look after that? Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Okay. Um, yes. I do hope I can find what you are looking for. Okay. Um, are you married? Yes. Did you ever wonder what you would do if your husband got into trouble? Well, I, I think we all wonder that sometimes. I guess I should have asked more questions, but, uh, I love him. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh.
Oh, that's okay. I knew you were going to be late. How'd it go with Mrs. Woods? Not very well, really. Her husband was particularly secretive about his business things. Mm. Did you get a chance to eat? No, I forgot. You want me to get you something? No, it's okay. I have to stop by the market on the way home. Tom's yeah. coming over for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. Tom needs all the CLC he can get these days. Do you want to come by too? Well, I wish I could, but I'm meeting Terry. I'm going to watch her sing at, at Colton's show. Well, how long will that take? Well, I don't know. First there's a rehearsal, and then they're going to tape, and I'm sure it'll go later on into the evening. I probably won't stay that long. Well, then pop by. I'd love to see you. All right, I will. Okay. As I live and breathe, what are you doing here? I own part of this place, remember? I thought you deserted us. Nope. Alive and well. And late. Oh, for very good reasons. Oh, sorry. very good reasons. Spare us, <laughs> please. He's bursting to tell us you can... No, this man accounts to no one. Ah, uh, you're talking about the old Sean. Uh, the new Sean has committed himself to account to someone for the rest of his life. You joining a monastery? No. I'm getting married. Excuse me? Women, I love women! <laughs> when did you start to do this? Well, probably the first time I ever met Tiffany. It just took me a while to realize what a terrific woman she is and how lucky I am to have her. I thought you weren't going to do it, though. Well, she gave me a tough time. I gave her a tough time, but that's all over with. We are now getting married. When? We're trying to figure out a date now, but she's so busy with this Colton show. I'll be lucky if I drag her away for an overnight honeymoon. Mm -hmm. No, 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 not Tiffany. She'll probably make a big frou-frou out of the whole thing. You're probably right. The world is a stage. <laughs> Who said that? Will. Will, God. To do <laughs> or not to do. That is the question. And I do. Very good. <laughs> Extremely good. I'm going to call her over to the studio and wish her luck with the taping. Oh, yeah. yeah well, she's going to need a Colton's Gone Hollywood. Really? In Port Charles? How did he manage that? Well, for starters, he quit his job down on the docks, and then I saw him shopping this morning. He's buying some very expensive things. Oh, Ooh, yeah. So much for the lifestyles of the poor and the innocent. Mm. And speaking of poor, I'd better get to work and earn my keep around here. Yes, there's lots of things on your desk. And I can hardly wait to get to them last. Oh, how we danced on the night we were wet. We danced and we danced because someone went to bed. <laughs> He's really into this. He really is. I'm very happy for him. I remember how happy you was when we were getting married. Ah, first question. I, I know how lonely you are when Duke's away. The longer Frisco's gone, the lonelier I am. Yeah, well, it'll work out for us. You'll see. Much of a bartender. Oh, I'm not much of a drinker. I won't know the difference. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this is nice. Thank you for asking me here tonight. I, I wish I'd done it sooner. I wanted to thank you for everything you did for Robin. Oh, well, a lot of her friends did much more work than I did. I was so sorry about the baby. Thank you. How's Simone? Oh, she's fine. Uh, actually, she went on a short cruise with her folks. Oh, change will do her good. Yeah, I think she needs a rest. She can come to terms with her grief. I think she'll be fine. And yourself? I'll be fine. I know we both will be. Good. Hi, Tom. Where can we eat? Hello. How rude. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm starving. Well, dinner's almost ready. Isn't Duke here? No. He's in New York City. Mm-hmm. On business. Ah. Well, what's he doing? Oh, he's opening a new club, actually. Interesting. Is he involved in anything else there? No. Uh, as far as I know, he hasn't said anything. Tell me more. About New York? No, about Duke and his business there. What do you want to know? Nothing. I'm just making conversation. Oh, I'm going to check on the dinner.
You have to forgive me for asking questions. It's okay. My teacher said it's good to ask questions. She's right, too. To a point, she's right. Well, with me, it's an occupational hazard. Once a psychiatrist, always a psychiatrist. I know that's no excuse. You can ask me anything you like. Yeah, me too. I like your questions. And I like your answers. The fact is, since I've been put on suspension, I haven't been seeing much of my patients. I guess I've been analyzing everyone's actions. Yeah, I see the same thing. Sometimes my training spills over into the real world, and I just become suspicious of anything out of the ordinary. I can imagine. Um, for example, if you have a real problem, I, I, I keep questioning why Duke goes to New York, and I mean, I know the reason why. You do? Well, yeah. Business. Can we eat? Oh, yes. I'll check on dinner. Mm. Excuse me. Oh, yes. Love it. 